What's up guys, Ed here once again for the Blood Type Online YouTube channel and we're back with our series, Review in Blue. Today we're going to be taking a look at another retro uh, release of an older film, of course. Uh, a film that is very popular on DVD. Uh, it's basically, I think, where, where the film made its name. Um, and that's a review of the classic film from George A. Romero from 1973. The Crazies on Blu-ray from Blue Underground. This one comes out February 23rd, 2010. And um, watched this one recently. And I have to say, I was super impressed with this. Um, this is the best I've ever seen The Crazies look. And I thought the DVD looked really nice that was released. The DVD ain't got nothing on this one. This is the, by far the best you will ever see this film look. They did a great job with it. It's, it looks fantastic. Um, the colors and everything is just so sharp. And I, I was really impressed with this because, to be honest with you, um, I'm not as hard uh, on older films as some people may be as far as Blu-ray goes. We have to keep in mind that these movies were never intended to be released on this type of uh, format. They, it just didn't exist. So... Um, you know, when a movie like The Crazies comes out, I'm a little wary of it, I, I'll admit, because I don't think that it's going to necessarily look all that great. But I was wrong about this one. It looks fantastic. Everything about the look of this Blu-ray is great. Um, I recommend it simply because of that. And if you're a fan of the film, um, it's almost worth rebuying it again because it looks so good in Blu-ray. Um, once again, the extras um, are exactly the same as the DVD. It has uh, audio commentary with George Romero. It has a pretty cool little featurette with Lynn Lowry. It's called The Cult Film Legacy of Lynn Lowry, as well as theatrical trailers and TV spots. No poster and still gallery, just like on uh, their release of The Toolbox Murders. To me, it's not that big of a deal. But um, just to give you guys kind of an idea of what... Um, the Crazies is. Um, there's a small town. It's a real town, too. It's in Evans City, Pennsylvania. And basically, this military uh, experiment of a, a, you know, a germ weapon has gone wrong. And it's basically affecting this small town in Evans City, where people are getting this disease and going crazy. Hence the title, The Crazies. Well, these people are freaking out, going nuts, and the military gets wind of it. They realize what happened there, they set up shop in Evans City, and they try and defuse the situation by enclosing everybody, you know, gathering up all the people in the town, or getting rid of the people that are being difficult. Now, um, what happens is you have this group of people, uh, two firemen, uh, a nurse, and a couple of regular citizens all get rounded up at one point by the military and manage to escape. The whole time they're trying to elude capture, they're trying to avoid more crazy people, and they're trying not to get the virus themselves. The movie has a lot, and I do mean a lot, of social commentary as far as the Vietnam War goes. Um, there's a lot of trust issues between the soldiers and the civilians, and that was clearly the message that uh, George Romero was trying to get across in The Crazies. But uh, the movie itself um, has some really, really iconic imagery in it, um, mainly having to do with this guy right here and his buddies back here, which you'll see there are several of these guys in the film dressed up in these suits. Um, it's become an iconic image over the years. And, you know, this movie, to me, um, is one of Romero's most underrated films. Um, I think you have a really, really good performance in this movie, too, by Richard Liberty, who also shows up again in a Romero film, Day of the Dead, um, as Dr. Frankenstein. It's a very unique role, um, mainly because of what these people are going through and the fact that the guy has somewhat of an incestual relationship with his daughter, um, which you'll see in the movie, too, who's played by Lynn Lowry. Um, Richard France is in this, too, 
if you remember Dawn of the Dead, uh, the guy with the eye patch on TV freaking out about the whole zombie situation, he actually plays a scientist in this movie. And it's a great role. I think he does amazing uh, in the role. But this movie is kind of a precursor to Romero's Dawn of the Dead. Uh, if you watch this movie, you'll kind of see where he gets the color scheme and that whole idea from Dawn. And you started to see him develop into the filmmaker that he would become you know, by the time Dawn of the Dead came out. Um, that's why I think The Craziest is ultimately such an important film. Plus, I just think it's a really, really good movie. And that, uh, you know, it doesn't really get the respect it deserves. But, luckily, thanks to the people at Blue Underground, it's finally getting it with this Blu-ray release. Um, I thought that they did a really good job with the original DVD release. And I didn't really see how they were going to improve it, but I have to give them a hand. They did, um... The picture looks amazing in this, and, you know, full 1080p. If you haven't seen The Crazies in 1080, man, you haven't seen The Crazies. And I know a lot of people say, well, why does The Crazies need to be cleaned up? And, you know, it really doesn't. It, it's kind of a movie that stands on its own, but they did such a good job at cleaning this up with the colors and the images and the way everything looks that you got to watch it, man. You know what I mean? It's a great, great movie. Let's show you guys the inside there. See some of this stuff. Kind of cool. Take the uh, the ray of blue out of there. Yes, the ray of blue. That's what I said. Um, but yeah, the Crazies, really cool movie. Blu-ray, highly recommend it. Comes out February twenty third, two thousand and ten, from Blue Underground. You know you gotta get this. It's a Romero flick. You want to have in your collection, right? At least if you're a nerd like me, that you do. So. That's the crazies. This is Ed. You are watching the Blood Type online. Or I should say, you are watching the Blood Type online YouTube channel. This is another installment of Review in Blue. Thanks for watching. We'll see you here next time.